Yo, what's up, guys? Go back to my channel, but what's up, call me? And yeah, so let's talk about the news. Uh, just trailers overall. There's like two trailers I want to talk about, and then one news about um someone being casted for a character. I do want to talk about. So um yes, yeah, let's let's first start off with the Mandalorian. No, it's not the Mandalorian. It's the Book of Boba Fett. I'm getting them confused. So yeah, trailer came out, uh, showing off what the story is gonna be. And it looks pretty interesting. So, basically, Boba Fett wants uh, to rule Tatooine, not as a gangster, but a leader. So, it looks like uh, Boba Fett wants to reunite Tatooine and become Unify. Um, I, like, I'm not sure the, the history of Tatooine. Like, I'm not really sure if it's, like, um, an entire planet just, just full of, you know, uh, conflict, like how the Middle East is. But, uh, yeah, I could see, you know, that story being interesting. You know, like, he's, it seems like he's going to almost every leader or every, you know, uh, warlord around Tatooine and trying to convince them to unite because he's saying, yeah, we could fight each other or we could all, you know, join together and get this money. <laughs> it seems like, um, you know, Boba Fett, he doesn't want, you know, Tatooine to become a democracy. He's like, no, there's... Way too many uh, crooks and gang members that rule too many lands, and it would be way too complicated to make, you know, the the entire Tatooine a democracy and, you know, kick all those guys out. Yeah, they still have power. The thing is, you know, let's make all of our crimes into a business, you know, just like how the next generation of uh, cartel members are trying to run, you know, their business, quote-unquote, more professionally because, you know, they... A lot of cartel members, you know, leaders, they did a lot of fucked up shit. <laughs> they did a lot of bad stuff, and the public does not like them. You know, they don't like them, but they can't do much about them because, you know, they got more guns. So, you know, it, it, it's bad for your business to do all that shit. So, you know, the next generation are trying of cartel members trying to change the opinions about cartels. You know, like, it's bad PR when one of your members did the R word to a girl, and then their brother killing him for doing that, but then getting killed for killing that cartel member for doing that to that female. You know, maybe you guys could have looked the other way and just allow that to happen. Like, they're trying to run Mexico not with an iron fist, but, you know, with respect for the locals. So, yeah, what I'm trying to say is, you know, Boba Fett is doing the same. He wants to run Tatooine not with an iron fist, but with respect. So the guys who are making this show are the same guys who made The Mandalorian. It's uh, John Favreau and Dave Filoni. Uh, well, they're executive producers because, you know, they're not going to be directing all the episodes. They might direct a few, but, you know, that you know, that it's they're executive producers. Just like in the last one, they're going to keep everything in line. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this, you know. Sadly, there is no Mando or Baby Yoda, but, you know, Boba Fett... Boba Fett, everybody wanted to see something about about Boba Fett, you know, like either a game that was about to be made, but, you know, that was just canceled, and then, you know, people wanted to shit his own show or movie, that has never happened, but now, finally, we get this. Now, we do know The Mandalorian Season 3 is going to happen, but I'm hoping in this show they'll give us a hint on what Season 3 story will look like, because Season 2 of The Mandalorian left on a big cliffhanger now they could have just end the story but they said a season three is coming so it's like all right so what's what's it gonna look like you know since baby yoda just um uh, was given to luke and now you know mando you know he, he got the sword so he, technically he could become he could become king or did what's your name fought for the sword like what, what's it gonna happen like i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen so hopefully we see some of that in this show. The sad part about this show, for me, is uh, there's no baby Yoda. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's all I'm going to say. All right, next news. Chris Pratt is going to be playing as Garfield. Yeah. There's going to be another Garfield movie? <laughs> like, I didn't even know that was happening. But still, Chris Pratt as Garfield. I, I don't know about that. Like, recently we just got news that... um. Chris Pratt is going to be playing as Mario and like we we don't even know what he's going to sound like in the movie we, we didn't even got a trailer or a teaser you know hinting oh this is what he's going to sound like it's like oh okay I could I could actually see it but like what, Chris Pratt hasn't really been in any roles where 
it um shows off his acting no voice acting abilities he's only been in like the lego movie that's all i could think of and you know he didn't really it, it's just him he, he he doesn't he's not even like trying to sound different you know it's just regular him so we haven't seen any roles where you know his acting show his voice acting shows so you know him as Garfield is he gonna even try to sound like Garfield? <laughs> is he just gonna say, "Oh, I'm Chris Pratt," you know, like something like that? Isn't it? like I, I I don't know. Or maybe his voice acting in the Mario movie is so good that when you know the audition tapes when he was voicing for Mario, it went through all of Hollywood, and they all saw it and like, "Oh my God, this man sounds just like Mario." Let me ask him to do a Garfield impression. And he did it and he's like, oh my fucking God, he must be the next Garfield. I will make the next Garfield because of this man. <laughs> now, people had the same thought as me when they heard Chris Pratt as Garfield. Why? Because it was just like all of a sudden, it's like I, I never heard of a rumor about uh, about a Garfield movie being made. It's like why? <laughs> so there, there in Twitter, in Twitter, there has been so many fucking memes of just oh Chris Pratt is going to be playing as Guts. Oh Chris Pratt is going to be playing as uh, Phoenix Wright. Oh Chris Pratt is going to be playing as uh, uh, Optimus Prime is some shit. Like everybody just memeing this shit because it yeah it sounds ridiculous. It's like yo we just heard that he's going to be in the Mario movie. Now you're telling me he's going to be in the Gar Garfield movie so yeah you know <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of Garfield but I'll definitely make a video about this and laugh my ass off once I hear Chris Pratt you know speak in the trailer of Garfield but uh yeah that's all I gotta say so last thing we gotta talk about is the Mobius trailer or Morbius I don't remember but yeah um <laughs> I almost forgot this uh, movie existed I, I I thought Sony forgot about this movie because they they uh, revealed the trailer last year and then they just uh, they just forgot about that. Like I didn't hear no oh looks like the movie's being delayed or oh what's happening. No no not even articles were talking about this movie. <laughs> so yeah so it, I, it's great to see that it's still alive. But uh, yeah the trailer finally revealing more about the story and this looks just like Venom. <laughs> and even in the trailer, they kind of make a joke at the end, like, I am Venom. It's like, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm Dr. Morbius. But yeah, everything looks just like Venom. Other than, you know, um, there's not another being inside of him that is different from him. It's just, oh, his, when he turns to the vampire, you know, he becomes a feral animal. But other than that, this kind of has like the same feel of Venom. Like he could change to another thing, and you know, it's it, he's more powerful with it. You know, um, so yeah, you know, yeah, I like it's only we're talking about. You know, Venom. You know, it sounds great. It sounds funny, but when I actually watched it, it's like this is kind of just slightly boring. Like you know, it sounded exciting on how people were describing it. People were describing how the the, pe the way people were describing it was crazy. It's like yeah, and then then Venom went to a female body and then kissed uh, Br Br uh Eddie Brock. It's like wait what? It, it, like it sounds crazy this movie, but when you actually watch it, it's kind of just underwhelming. So I don't know. Like Sony, they've been doing a bad job with you know the Marvel Marvel properties if it's not animated. <laughs> So, um, yeah, like, I'm not as excited for this, you know, and like I said, I like, I like vampire shit, so, yeah, that's, that's all I gotta say, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me, Twitch, 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 and Twitter, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later, bye.